What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kevlar 82 TV, your positive cool coach channel. Today, uh, we're going to be uh, handling a very easy and inexpensive mod for your Genesis Coupe, man. Uh, as you can see in the title, we're going to be doing what's called a coolant bypass for you guys who do not know. Basically, um, this is something that uh, uh, Dustin Davis from 3.8 Performance, he did to my car. This is my 2014 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 Ultimate manual transmission. AKA the Batmobile, dude. For you guys that know it, that know me, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, um, basically, this video um, is going to be footage that was part of another video where I did a couple other things to the car while I was down there, um, uh, 3.8 Performance Headquarters and everything like that. But I decided to clip it and take it out and make it its own video just so it's not. Um, caught up and crammed in with other footage or whatever so i didn't want the video to be 20 minutes of two different three different uh, mods in the car or whatever so we're just going to do one for now and i'll uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you hit that thumbs up and like button man continue to show your support and i'll release the other footage that's going to be coming soon most likely right after this one um yeah so basically we're just going to get into it and i'm going to tell you right now uh, if you guys don't know what it does basically what it does is it um basically helps bring down the intake air temperatures going into your manifold or whatever that's what we're going to be doing that's what the purpose of um this specific easy mod is um it was data logged by dustin davis 3.8 performance i will leave the link in the description proving that this does work um basically and it basically by bringing down intake air temperatures it does deliver more power so if you guys don't know that basically one of your biggest enemies when it comes to power delivery is heat heat is your a, do not heat is bad heat is real bad when it comes to uh, the engine bay that's why everything we try to do our cars uh keeping it cooler keeping the temperatures down always keep our uh, power delivery consistent and even higher in some cases uh but uh just a warning for you guys dude i'm sorry but if you live in a cold state or a cold area where your temperatures can be freezing do not do this mod dude because um that's where the skeptics come in where they're saying that um your throttle uh, body can uh, basically freeze closed or it can get stuck closed basically if it's extremely cold in your area so this is only for the sunny states um where it's sunny pretty much all days out the year i mean basically southern california is like that dude our temperatures the lowest we get is like 40 degrees and that's freezing for us and it doesn't get any colder than that <laughs> but anyways um yeah, so uh, I'm sorry for you guys that live in the colder areas, whatever. This is only for the sunny state. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it and get started, dude. All right. So first thing, we're going to take off the bolt on the throttle body, the one that holds this bracket for the uh, pigtail for the throttle body. And we're going to do that because it gets in the way. But we're going to be removing the throttle body anyways. All right, so in the bottom of your throttle body, you've got these two coolant lines. Uh, basically, this just creates a loop. That's all it is, is just a loop. There's nothing special or fancy about it. Coolant comes in from one line goes into a little pocket that's inside the casting on the throttle body and then it goes out the other side into the return line and the OEMs uh, they do this for uh, fuel efficiency or fuel economy MPGs a lot of people say oh so your throttle body doesn't freeze uh, well it doesn't do anything when the, the car is already cold anyway um, if you do live in environments where it's super cold then yeah go ahead and leave this on I have personally had issues when it's been too cold outside and uh, the car has had issues so uh, if it's freezing then yeah keep it on but if you live in like Florida or California or places where it doesn't really get you know super cold then uh, you're fine so the first thing you're just gonna get some pliers and you're just gonna move these little clips or the, the clamps, just pull the clamps down. 
And then you want to do this while the car is cold. And then you want to grab your shop towels or paper towels, rags, whatever the case is, whatever, whatever you have handy. And just stick it down underneath the hoses because when you pull these off, some fluid will come out and you don't want that getting everywhere. So you want to detach these before you take the throttle body off because it's just a lot easier to do it while the throttle body is still installed. Once those are disconnected, go ahead and remove your throttle body. There's two bolts on the bottom, one you already removed, and then you've got these two nuts up on top. All right, with the throttle body out of the way, we're gonna take these two hoses off and they're just on there by little clamps. Okay, so the car's still warm, so you can see a little bit of cooling came out. It's not a whole lot, but you still don't want it leaking anywhere. All right, so now the hoses are removed. Now we're gonna replace those with, this is an 11 inch, um, 5 16 heater hose. You can get it at any parts store. It's pretty cheap, this will probably cost you $2 maybe. And we're just gonna reuse the clamps from the original hoses. You can also use warm clamps if you want, it's up to you. And then when you get the clamp on, you want to slide it down a little ways because you don't want to have to fight it getting it over the barb on the coolant line. And then just repeat for the other side. Now in our kits, we send out 11 inch hose. Uh, you can get away with a smaller one uh, if this ends up being too much. But what you don't want to happen is have it kinked. You don't want it kinked like that. Some guys will try and reuse the original hose, but it's not enough. So it's best just to spend a couple bucks, get a good length of hose, trim it. You just want a nice loop, just like that. No kinks. Slide the hose over the lines and put the clamps back.
right? So once you get the clamps back on, just give it a good tug. Make sure it's not loose. Uh, if it's loose or it comes off, then reposition everything. Make sure the clamp is on after the barb. Make sure the hose is slid all the way on as far as it'll go. And that's it. That's your coolant bypass. Super easy. Super easy. This is a common mod on almost every car. Uh, this is not Genesis specific. And there's uh, there's some data. I did some data logging and testing. Uh, put the link down in the description to that. But it definitely provides a significant improvement in uh, the intake air temperature reduction. So a lot cooler air going into the manifold, which of course means more power. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. I hope it helped as always, man. Um, I have a lot more coming to the Batmobile. There's a lot that I've done to the Batmobile. Um, basically just go through, um, I can link it in the description of all the other mods I've done to it or whatever. Scroll through the channel, check out those videos, check out all my other videos, man. Um, dude, what else can I say, dude? I'm enjoying my car, dude. I've had it for four years. I'm uh, just barely starting to dig into it, whatever. A lot of you guys that know me personally know I've had the car for this long and it's been stocked mostly for like three years straight or whatever, but um, finally getting into it. You guys continue to support the channel like you're doing right now. That's going to help basically help me with more mods for the car. You know what I mean? So basically the better the channel does, the more I can mod the car. That's how it works, just plain and simple. It's, you know, that's that's the way life is, dude. So yeah, yeah, continue to show you guys support. Like I say, man, hit that like button, man. Hey, <laughs> thumbs up, you know what I mean? Subscribe, hit that subscribe button, dude. Um, notification bell actually helps too. Keep track of my videos exactly when I upload them and everything like that. I'm working on my upload schedule. I don't have a specific upload time, but my upload schedule is every single Tuesday and Friday. So my upload times are a little bit varies, depends or whatever when I, when I have time to uh, put the video out because there's things I need to do. Um, you know, life happens. But yeah, just hit that notification bell, dude, and, and stay hyped and stay ready for whenever my next video is coming out dude and um what else can i say dude <laughs> life is good man life is good dude uh remember as i say at the end of all my videos always see the glasses half full not half empty stay blessed stay safe it's your boy kevin smiley signing out kevlar 82 tv peace hey.